Kenya men's basketball team power forward Ariel Okal was just settling into his new team, Union Sportive Setifion, that's in Algeria, before the new coronavirus pandemic struck, and he found himself in the midst of a countrywide lockdown. Okal, who, was, who has played for the national team, the Morans, became a prisoner in his house and has not left for close to a month, receiving his weekly supplies at his doorstep from his club. Banandong tells us his story. 29-year-old Ariel Okal spends all of his time indoors, at his home in Setif, southeast of the Algerian capital, Algiers. It's not by choice, but because of circumstances, after the Algerian government placed most of the country on lockdown. Okal, who signed a professional basketball deal with Union Sportive Setifien, has been forced to alter his sleeping routine, going to bed at 4 a.m. and waking up at midday and staying awake for the rest of the day. He has only played four times for the team since he penned a deal. Uh, my club uh, participates in the top tier league, the uh, Algerian Basketball uh, Division 1, League 1. And uh, they've been to the finals for the finals of the Algerian Cup for three years. Uh, as a young club, that's a, it's a big achievement. Well, the first case of coronavirus was reported here um, towards the end of February. That first case signaled the start of an all-familiar trend that has been witnessed around the globe. It started with a trickle, with the Algerian government announcing at least three cases every day. This turned into a flood as the numbers surged from one on the 25th of February to over 1,800 by the 11th of April, with over 200 deaths being recorded. The government was forced to take drastic measures. We are not allowed to move uh, around. Everybody stays uh, in their houses. They don't go moving around the city. And, uh, you know, because the government right now has banned people from going to work, going to the mosque, going to school. They have stopped everything. The public transport is also uh, not working right now. Uh, everything has come to uh, a standstill. Movement is only allowed for people to go and shop with supermarkets being open between 8 a.m. and noon. Okal, however, has opted to remain indoors the entire time just to be extra cautious. This is how the streets look like right now. For me, I don't leave the house at all. My team management makes sure, uh, makes sure that I get everything in the house. If I need anything, I make a phone call and they deliver all my supplies here in the house. So for me, I don't need to go outside and, you know, put my life in danger or anything. Physical inactivity is also a disease that Okal is trying not to catch. Okal's club still has more than 20 games to go, and it's still unclear whether the league will resume after the health crisis is over, or will it be postponed indefinitely? I've uh, developed some uh, workouts. You know, I have a workout plan here in the house. I do aerobics, and sometimes I, I do yoga. Sometimes uh, I work with my body weight to try and make sure that I maintain uh, my fitness before we resume, if we are going to resume the league uh, at all. The rest of his free time is preoccupied with communicating with his family back in Kenya. I speak to my family a lot, you know. I speak to my family a lot. I have access to Wi-Fi and uh, Internet. So I call home all the time. I speak to my friends back at home, my, uh, my, my, my teammates uh, in the national team back at home. So I get in touch with everybody to try and maintain my sanity. That's the only way you can maintain your sanity when you're here. The Kenyan embassy in Algiers is constantly in contact with Okal and the rest of the Kenyans in Algeria who are homesick but can't travel back because international travel has been halted. Bernard Ndong for Citizen TV.